If you've bought a new set of rim brake calipers for your bike and need to know how to fit them, we're going to show you how. Likewise, if you've just got a set of brake calipers that need adjusting and setting up correctly, we'll show you how to do that too. You're only going to need a few tools to get this job done, so it's going to be nice and simple. A set of pliers, a 4mm Allen key and also a 2mm Allen key. That's going to be used for centering them later on. One of the first jobs we need to do is to remove the cable crimp end from the end of the cable. To do that, we're going to use our pliers and pull down to remove it. Now that we've got the cable end removed, we can take our 4mm Allen key, undo the pinch bolt that's securing the cable to the caliper. With the cable now loose and free, we can guide it all the way up through the barrel adjuster and set that to the side out of the way, ready to remove the caliper. Right, we can go ahead now and tuck the brake cable up out of the way. That keeps that tidy. Now it's a case that we can go ahead, remove the front wheel out of the way, and that will give us access to the two 4mm mounting bolts that are secured underneath here. This is for a direct mount brake. Now if your brake is a centre mount brake, you have to gain access to the bolt from the rear of the forks. Now that we've got the caliper removed, you could either look to go ahead and replace that with the new one, or equally, if you're going to use the existing caliper, you've now got access to clean some of these crucial pivot points that are hidden away inside. Because we're not replacing this caliper today, we're going to give it a good old clean and scrub down with some muck off bike clean and make it looking brand new. So if like me, when you're cleaning the caliper, the spring comes unhooked from this little pivot point here, we can then carefully reattach that together now. Now we've only replaced and refitted the front brake, but if you were going to replace both the front and rear brakes, it's important to get these the correct way around. Normally these are labelled on the boxes front and rear. Now if you've got single pivot brakes, unlike these ones, it's clear to identify these because the front one has got the longer bolt and the rear one has got a shorter bolt. The next step here is to take the cable, guide it all the way through the barrel adjuster, down through the cable pinch bolt and secure that correctly using our 4mm Allen key. Now that we've got to this point, we can go and refit the front wheel and then move to the next step, which is setting the brake caliper correctly. Our first step to setting the brake up correctly is to set the pads. It's important to set those correctly to make sure that they don't contact the tyre at any point and make sure they're on the braking surface of the rim. So to adjust the brake pad, we're gonna to have to use our 4mm Allen key. To do that, we can put it into the edge of the brake pad here, loosen the brake pad off. Now that the pad is loose, we can adjust it using our fingers, using the brake pad, center it correctly, use the brake to hold that nice and secure and use our 4mm Allen key to do that up again. Now that we've got the brake pad set correctly, we can move on to the next job, which is to centralize the caliper. We do this to make sure the left and right brake pad touch the rim at exactly the same time. That ensures we've got nice consistent braking. To centralise these direct mount calipers, we can use our 2mm Allen key and the small bolt on the side. Now if you've got centre mount calipers, these can be adjusted manually using your hands to centralise them. Now that we've got the brake pads set correctly and the caliper centralised, we can now take our 4mm Allen key and adjust the cable length. That'll change how much movement the lever has before the brake starts to bite. Now I quite like the lever to have a little bit of extra travel before the brake gets tight. However, if you like it to be a little bit closer, you can just adjust it on the pinch bolt there. Now with all of those steps complete, we just got to take our cable end and put that on the cable to finish the job off nicely. So there you have it, new calipers fitted to your bike. It's worth just giving everything a quick once over to make sure you're happy and it's fitted correctly. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, give us a big thumbs up, but equally if you've got any questions, get them in the comments section below using hashtag AskGCNTech and we'll try and get back to you in the next tech clinic.